kindly kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you were Son and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are now on the first day after Epiphany. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Bel San Luis. SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Jude will now begin. Please rise. glory, patron of all hopeless souls, in our trials be a refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding, desolations, Endless pleading, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy cry and suppliant. Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy cry and suppliant. Human hearts in desperation me the dreary toils of life Countless thousands have you strengthened By your power in their strife Your warm love turns abating for the hopeless, ever wailing, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy cry and suppliant. Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy cry and suppliant. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Jude, uh, in his letter, says, May mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. Through the intercession of St. Jude, let us approach with confidence God, 
and ask him to give us the graces we need to follow faithfully his son Jesus Christ we pray um, for our special intentions to devotees of St. Jude Tadeus particularly uh, Lita Alano um, Rosi Suntai uh, Johnny Helen C Paul Carol Galang Mary Rose Navarro Joe Valencia Maria Anita Alanis Nora Abdullah and we will also um, <clears throat> pray for other in intentions and also our own personal intentions let us pray O God who by the blessed Apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name graciously grant through the intercession of Saint Jude that the church may constantly grow by the increase of the people who believe in you through our Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen but as for you beloved build up yourselves upon your most holy faith praying in the Holy Spirit Litany to St. Jude Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy, have mercy on, on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. Saint Jude, relative of Jesus and Mary. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, raised to the dignity of an apostle. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who had the honor of beholding the divine master, humble himself to wash his feet. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the hands of Jesus. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who after the profound grief which the death of your beloved Master caused you, had the consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who preached the gospel in Persia. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who converted many people to the faith. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who restored an idolatrous king to health both of body, soul and body. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude who imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude who took from deadly serpents the power of enduring man. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who, disregarding the threats of the impious, courageously preached the doctrine of Christ. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine Master. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Novena prayer. Together we pray. Saint, Saint Jude, Jude, glorious apostle, apostle faithful, faithful servant and friend of Jesus. Jesus. The name, the name of the person who betrayed, who betrayed our Lord has, has caused, caused you to be forgotten by many. But the, the true church invokes you universally. 
as, as the patron of the, of the desperate. Pray for me, who is miserable. Pray for me that I may finally receive the consolations and the succor of heaven and all my necessities, tribulations and sufferings, particularly the following. And that I may bless God with the elect throughout eternity. Saint Jude, worker of miracles, please pray for me. Saint Jude, helper of the hopeless, please pray for me. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy that being, being restored, restored to bodily health, health they may, may give thanks to you in your, in your church, church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Concluding acclamation, together we acclaim. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the apostles, aid me in my distress. So now, brothers and sisters, let us. Uh, <coughs> begin with our Eucharistic uh, celebration. Let us pray. O God, who through your Son raise up your eternal light for all nations, grant that your people may come to acknowledge the full splendor of their Redeemer, that bathe evermore in his radiance they may reach everlasting glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we love God because He first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. This is the commandment we have from Him. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. <coughs> he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. 
Lord, Lord every, every nation on earth will adore, adore you. From fraud and violence he shall redeem them, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. May they be prayed for continually. Day by day shall they bless him. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth will adore, will adore you. you. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Lord, Lord every nation on earth, earth will adore, adore you. you. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news of him spread throughout the whole region. He taught in their synagogues and was praised by all. He came to Nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him, and he said to them, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, our um, viewers of the uh, live streaming, uh, good uh, evening, uh, everybody. So, um, after uh, the Christmas uh, uh, season or uh, our uh, celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, the question that we are uh, invited to reflect on is what kind of person was uh, <clears throat> Jesus Christ who was born in Bethlehem? So, uh, ano bang ori? What is the perception? And um, when he went to his uh, hometown where he grew up, according to the scriptures, that um, he uh, read uh, the uh, scroll and found the passage where it is written about 
the uh, Messiah that would come during the time of uh, this uh, Israeli and this uh, Jews and um, when our Lord finished uh, reading he said uh, this uh, thing that I have read you he said uh, today the scripture par passage is fulfilled in your hearing so in other words Messiah who uh, lived uh, uh, hundreds of years before Christ in his writing said that uh, it would be uh, the uh, Messiah when the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor but in spite of all this my dear brothers and sisters the uh, compatriots or countrymen of our Lord um, did not accept him as uh, the uh, Messiah that was said in the scriptures and so uh, they rejected our Lord Jesus Christ that is why uh, it was very very uh, unfortunate and very sad that he who had done a lot of good things in his own uh, countrymen among his countrymen rejected Jesus Christ well of course this is already uh, history and we know that until now the Jews uh, still have their own religion and they do not consider our Lord as the Messiah alam nyo po nung ako ay uh, nag um, pilgrimage sa Holy Land some years ago um, well we were going around Jerusalem and then uh, when we passed by there was a certain uh, huge uh, mausoleum and then a lady uh, stopped us and said why don't you also come in uh, this is the uh, mausoleum of King David and of course, we uh, uh, honored the invitation and we went inside. There were also people inside and they were, we were viewing the uh, uh, big uh, uh, mausoleum or coffin of King David. King David was of course the number one uh, hero of the uh, Jews and they considered him as uh, the Messiah who will come again during their time. And so, while the lady was uh, uh, showing to us that mausoleum and was uh, telling us about the importance of that mausoleum, alam nyo po, tinanong ko, ay ma'am, um, how about Jesus Christ? Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, well, is... Uh, a Messiah that we know of. Alam nyo po itong uh, guide medyo kumulubot yung kanyang uh, mukha at uh, siya po ay uh, nagalit sabi niya, we do not uh, accept uh, Jesus Christ he was an impostor, he divided our country and uh, we do not believe in him. Alam nyo po natakot ako dahil well, I, I think my uh, question was very, very, uh, was very uh, innocent. But you see how this uh, Jews uh, uh, rejected and didn't like Jesus Christ to be the Messiah. At alam niyo po, dahil dito, ako ay uh, napahiya dahil maraming mga pilgrims around. And um, so, dahan-dahan na lamang po kong umatras palabas dahil sinabi ko sa sarili ko baka mayroon pang may lilibing dito na isa pa sabi ko <laughs> at baka ako ang may lilibing dito sa so, galit po nitong guide well my dear brothers and sisters um, it is true that uh, 
uh, the Messiah uh, was rejected by his countrymen until now. And we, in a way, are very fortunate. We are very lucky because we Filipinos are uh, really uh, uh, religious. We would not, uh, we would not uh, reject our Lord Jesus Christ. We are God-fearing. And uh, this is what uh, is good with us. But there are also times in our lives that we reject our Lord. And what do I mean by this? So for example, the teachings, the commands of our Lord, when we do not, uh, when we do not accept them, when it's very difficult for us to, uh, to obey the commandments of God and His will. One time, I had uh, relatives and there was a knee, uh, an aunt, and a uh, uh, cousin who were uh, quarreling with one another. And for around five years, they were not in talking terms with. And, you know, I called one of them, the elder uh, relative, and I said, um, you know, you have not been talking with one another. Why don't you think of, uh, you know, forgiving and uh, try to greet one another? And that might be the start of forgiveness and reconciliation. So, uh, this is the will of God, I said. And you know, she told me, at muntik na kung mahulog to upuan, sabi niya, Father, pwede ba? Wag natin isama ang Panginoong Diyos dito sa usapan na ito, ha? Ba, sabi ko, bakit hindi naman natin uh, isasama si Lord? When our Lord tells us that you must forgive your enemy, you must forgive persons you're not in good terms with. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, if that is uh, the case, uh, I said, uh, you're going to church every day and receiving Holy Communion. Is that the way you... Uh, uh, that's the way you uh, pray to the Lord? Well, it's so easy to pray. It's so easy to receive Holy Communion. But to forgive, that she could not, uh, that she could not take. Or for example, some of uh, the other uh, will of God. Uh, our Lord uh, says, if you want to be my disciple, carry your cross and follow me. Isn't it sometimes that uh, in married life, uh, well, uh, some couples, when they are really tired of each other, carrying their burden of crosses, then uh, uh, they will uh, break up or even separate. You know, there was a couple, they were always quarreling. And um, that Sunday, uh, the husband left the house. And he went to the church. At nung nagbunubo sa simbahan na nalangin ng mataimtim. And then, uh, after the Mass, uh, umuwi siya, he went home. And you know, he went around looking for the wife. And the wife was cooking at the kitchen. And you know what the husband did? You know, from behind, he hugged the wife. And then, he lifted the wife, and the wife was uh, uh, amazed. And uh, she said, why did you do that? You even came from the church. Did the priest tell you to be romantic? And the husband said, no. He did not tell me to be romantic. But he said, if you wish to be my follower, carry your cross. Ayun pala eh, kanyang interpretation ng cross, no? and the cross was the wife. Well, of course, this is not, uh, uh, this doesn't happen to all couples. But sometimes, uh, the crosses that we carry are our problems. And uh, for example, uh, this uh, challenge about 
uh, this uh, pandemic that we are going through, people who are out of jobs, uh, businessmen who are uh, uh, who do not know what to do with uh, the loss of uh, their businesses and even uh, uh, their money. So you know, my dear brothers and sisters, these are the difficulties, the crosses, that sometimes it's very difficult to understand a good and loving God. But our Lord uh, tells us that life is not a bed of uh, roses, not all comfort. And uh, there are really times in our lives that we experience the difficulty of being a follower of our Lord. But He wants us to continue. After all, He Himself, even though He was a Messiah, the Son of God, He had to suffer. And He could not really uh, turn down the will of the Father that He had to carry His cross, to be nailed to the cross, and eventually die. But after all these sufferings, there was also glory and uh, He was able to save us from sin and death. So dear brothers and sisters, let us remember that amidst our difficulties, especially this time of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, let us say if sometimes our crosses are very heavy, as St. Peter said, Lord, to whom do we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have come to believe that you are really the Son of God. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. brethren that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church receive our oblation O Lord 
by which is brought about a glorious exchange and by offering what you have given we may merit to receive your very self you ask this through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in christ as a light for the nations and when we and when he appeared in our mortal nature you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim <laughs> You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant it will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember also, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, the clergy, your faithful people gathered here, and also our uh, viewers of this live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them in the delight of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Now, dear brothers and sisters, let us... Uh, Pray the prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done on earth, earth as, it as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver us, us from Amen. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let's uh, greet one another with the sign of peace. Peace be, Peace, be Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who gives himself as our food and our strength in the form of bread and wine. Happy are we who are invited to partake of his heavenly banquet. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should you. enter under my roof, but Lord, only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Please be seated. Reminder, Holy Communion will be done by row starting from the right side facing the altar. Ashers will guide you accordingly. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Covers afar, fields and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Still 
proceeding guide us to thy perfect light born a king on Bethlehem's plain gold I bring to crown him again king forever seizing never over us all to reign Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, 
pray for, pray for us. us. San Roque, pray, pray, for, pray us. for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray, pray for, for us. us. San Pedro Calunzon, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reynada Mitz, pray for, pray us. for us. Uh, before the final uh, blessing, brothers and sisters, uh, I would like to um, uh, thank uh, those who have uh, shared their, their uh, resources for the schooling of our seminarians. Under our Adopt a Seminarian Scholarship Program, of which uh, I am the uh, uh, director. And um, the seminarians have uh, come from home, from uh, vacation. 50% uh, of them uh, have come back uh, already. And um, of course, uh, the families of these uh, seminarians are very much affected by the economic crisis uh, caused by the uh, pandemic. And uh, therefore, I would like to uh, uh, continue my appeal to please help our seminarians in their schooling. You may, um, um, <clears throat> if you wish to inquire further about our scholarship program, helping our seminarians, you may um, email me on my uh, email address, Father, I, uh, well, Father Isabel San Luis, but my email address is Bell svd at gmail.com and um, you may also send to uh, my bank account uh, to post a BDO uh, savings account Father Isabelo San Luis 000 51623 so uh, again, thank you very much for helping, uh, but uh, there's still a second semester uh, wherein our students will uh, be enrolled. Let us always remember that uh, even if we may be hard up, that uh, we can still help. And this is our way of thanking the Lord for the blessings of life or other blessings that we have been receiving. So thank you in advance. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. <laughs>